Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas, one or two here. Um, I'm back with a new issue I have found with the Legion Go. It seems like this device is just problematic prone. This device is just plagued with so many issues. And if, Lenovo, if you're watching this video, please do not make any more handhelds. It seems like for every problem you find with the Legion Go, and Lenovo patches it out, a new problem seems to arise. And that's what I've noticed with most of these, a lot of these PC handhelds, they have so many issues. And whenever they patch an issue out, a new issue arises. If they patch that issue out, then they find another issue. Well, at least the users do. Then it gets back to the developers. I really love this device, man. It's a powerful device. It has a lot of power under the hood. I love how it plays a lot of the games and higher frame rates and such. But the issues is just too much. I just advise people just to, you know, to swallow that pill and just skip this system. Do not get the Legion Go. It has too many problems. And all the updates they came out with over the past couple of months and weeks, and you would think they'll finally get the system to where it's working. It seems like a new problem or new issues arises and it's very, very, very annoying. On launch, the system had a lot of issues, but nothing, but not even compared to what I'm about to tell you guys. So, okay, so let me not delay anymore. So the issue I'm having with a serious issue, if I may add, if I may say, is there's an issue where, let me show you. If you put it on 60 hertz and you hit the power button, which is a sleep button as well. If you put the system in sleep by hitting the power button, it goes into a blank screen. Here, let me show you. 60 hertz, right? By God's grace, as I, I hit a power button, it turns back on with no issues. Let's see. All right, that's the issue I'm having. Notice, you can see the desktop. I hit a power button and put it into sleep mode. You can hear it, but it's a blank screen. So I was playing a game earlier today on my commute and I'm all into the game, got real far, hit the power button, blank screen. Sometimes if you're lucky, you can hear the game playing, but you won't see anything. Now, you can't wake it up, nothing. You can't do anything. This is really pathetic. And this is a $700 system. A $700 system shouldn't have issues like this. So you have to hard power off the system by holding the power button down until the system shuts itself down. Now that it's completely down, let me turn it back on. Alright, so we're back in. The system rebooted. Now, even if you reboot the system, you restart the system, it doesn't fix the issue. I've seen a video earlier today, and uh, the comment section was saying Lenovo doesn't know what's going on. They don't know if it's a hardware issue or a software issue. That's what somebody in the comment section said that Lenovo said. I haven't spoken to any Lenovo customer service rep, so I can't confirm that. And maybe they're very well, may be right. But if I speak to them, I'll let you guys know. It's always an issue. But okay, so how do we fix that problem? 
I've seen a guy, he said, <laughs> if you hit the power button and put it in the sleep mode and you press the power button again, you hurry up and tap any buttons, it'll go right back into the desktop mode. But I shouldn't have to do that. And that's annoying. And you may forget to do that. We have to hard reset the system once again. So, okay. So that video I saw on YouTube actually helped me out a whole lot. And I found out what the issue is. And like, a, like someone in the comment section said, I don't know if it's a hardware issue or a software issue, but it's always something with Lenovo Legion Go. So the fix is, remember I said 60 Hertz, the screen goes black if you hit a power button off and try to turn it back on and, it's, and it won't turn back on. And well, you know, I jumped up my words right there, guys. What I'm trying to say is if you're having a 60 Hertz and you put it in sleep mode, the system won't turn back on. So here's a fix. You have to keep it on 144 Hertz. So let's power it off and see. I actually put it in sleep mode, excuse me. See, that fixes the issue. Let's try it one, one more time. See, no problem. And let's try it with, I don't know, a game. Uh, let me just. Um, so I'm guessing this is probably a software thing. I'm not sure. And the only reason why I say that is, I mean, nobody had this issue until the latest update. Wow, they have a Blair Witch again? Um, oh, that's why they did. I forgot it came out a couple years ago. So we're going to do this. Uh, I should have went to my library. How do you go back? B. So let's try Resident Evil 4. Well, actually, I was playing this game right here, Prison City. I'm going to go ahead and start this game right here because it's a old school 8-bit style Nintendo game so it should fire up pretty fire up pretty quick it's very annoying and and on top of that too while I was playing this game I put it in sleep mode got it out of sleep mode and I couldn't move my um I couldn't move my character it was just stuck no matter what I did Whatever. Sleep mode, right? Take it out of sleep mode. Okay, well, no issues there. So, let's put it in 60 hertz mode and see what happens. See the blank screen? That's what I'm talking about, guys. That's what I'm talking about. So, that's the issue. That's that, that's the latest issue with the Lenovo Legion Go. If you put your system in sleep mode and you try to take it out of sleep mode, it won't wake the system up. 
You'll, it'll wake up to a blank screen. So in order to not see this blank screen, when you put it in sleep mode, you have to leave it on 144 hertz mode. And you know what that means, right? 144 hertz mode is gonna drain the battery even more. What the hell, I can't even, I'm trying to hard reset the game and it's not working. See, then there you have it, guys. I have to hard reset the game every single time. So, anybody having this issue? This is this is the issue right here. You can't change it from 144 hertz to 60 hertz. If you put a Legion Go in 60 hertz and you put it in sleep mode, it will not wake up. Or it'll wake up to a blank screen, just like I just demonstrated right there. So you have to keep the Legion Go in 144 hertz mode. Yes, it's gonna burn through a lot of battery and it is what it is. Um, so I, I kind of don't recommend this system. And there's a lot of people out there that always like to make excuses, especially if they own a the system. They're gonna make an excuse and say, well, you know, Lenovo's gonna fix the system with patches later on down the road. I don't even wanna hear that. This system, a $700 system, shouldn't have any issues whatsoever. I've never had a problem with my Nintendo Switch. From day one, up until 2023, as of today that I'm talking to you guys, my Switch works like a charm. And all these PC handhelds want to be a Nintendo Switch so bad, but can't get it right. You can't even get the system to function. I mean, it's this is pretty much pathetic. It's a decent system. I like it, man. But with these issues, it, it just makes me want to write the system off. So... For those of you guys and gals out there that are having issues with your Legion Go waking up to a blank screen, that's because there's a bug, a glitch, I don't know if it's a hardware or software issue, but either or, and either way, the system will not wake up out of sleep mode on 60 hertz. So you would have to leave the system in 144 hertz in order for the system to run normally and wake up normally. And it's crazy to think about it because I remember when I first got the Lenovo Legion Go at launch, the issue was if you're playing a game, you couldn't switch from 60 to 144 hertz during gameplay, even if you pause the game. And that was kind of crazy to me how you couldn't do that because on the Steam Deck and the ROG Ally, you can change the hertz on the fly, but the Legion Go, you couldn't. But it was very annoying but not as annoying as you putting your system in sleep mode and the system doesn't want to wake up. That's actually a bad thing. So I'd rather the old way where if I wanted to switch from 60 hertz to 144 hertz, I would literally have to quit the game, go back to the main, go back to the dashboard, change the hertz and go right back into the game. I'd rather deal with that then deal with this. And all the, all the patches that the Legion Go have gotten, it seems to have made the system worse. They fix one problem, another problem arises. It's, it's crazy. And that's why I don't like updating my, my systems, man. And I know that's how like everything is nowadays. You have to update it. It sucks, yes. But you know, when I get like a working update that works for me, I just try not, I try my best not to update at all. And I'm sorry for ranting this long, guys. Um, you know, it's, it's very frustrating. And leaving your system in 144 hertz will definitely drain the battery a lot faster. So you guys have to take that into consideration. Me personally, I wouldn't even buy the Legion Go. I wouldn't, I'll just leave it alone. Maybe one day they'll fix all the problems. Maybe one day they'll fix this issue, but we know another issue will arise. That's it guys. Um if you have any if you have any questions or a solution you know what's going on, just let me know. And I guess if I have some time, I'll probably call Lenovo customer service and have a chat with them 
and let them know what's going on. But I shouldn't have to do all that, man. At the end of the day, man, it, it, it turned out to be a garbage, a garbage handheld at the end of the day. Whether they fix it later on down the road or not, I don't care. It's just about too late right now. I was just stick with the Steam Deck guys and the Rog Ally. Red Crips 1 to 2 out. If you're new to my channel, like and subscribe. And before I get off, before I sign off, um, many of my many of my subs have seen the video where I posted um, my, my Legion Go crashed on me, the first model. This is actually my second unit. The first model, you know, I didn't really have any issues with it. The only issue I had, I didn't have any issues really, but one day it just crashed on me for no apparent reason. It just crashed. One day I was playing my game and it just started acting funny and it just crashed. So, uh, I don't really know guys. Um, and that was a two terabyte model and they had to opt for a one terabyte model thinking maybe it was just the SSD drive. And they said, well, one of the representative, the customer service rep at Michael Center told me they had faulty cards. So I, I, I don't know. It's probably just the system itself, man. Lenovo is just not good with making handhelds. I think they should just stick to laptops and PCs or whatever it is that they do best. But handhelds is not your arena, Lenovo. Just leave it alone. 